Hi, this is Darren with DC Motive. Just want to give you a quick introduction to our GPS speedometers with tachometer. Uh, just a quick display. We connect it to the battery for this temporary setup. Normally, you'd want to have it connected to fused power for your normal installation to protect the gauge and the rest of your system. But for this illustration, that's fine. Um, it'll display your turn signals, your high beams, of course, speedometer. Um, once you connect the power, it'll find the GPS signal. Uh, the first time you connect power, it'll take a little bit to find all the satellites. After that, it's uh, within just a few seconds. You're ready to go. This uh, tachometer input is very simple. You just need to connect it to the negative side of one coil. This is a single cylinder motor, so it only has one coil, but each coil has a negative side, a positive side, and output to the spark plug. From the schematics, you should be able to easily find which is the negative side. But if you connect it to the positive side, you just won't get a reading. You connect it to the negative side, you'll get a reading. If you have a multiple cylinder motor, just pick one coil and connect it there. And through the program, you can program it for how many cylinders you have. So for this illustration, we'll just set this up so you can see how e easy it is to run it. Basically, four wire connection here. And this one has a tachometer array, so we can compare for the reading. A little bit under 2,000, a little bit under 2,000. As you can see, this gauge is set up good. We're getting an accurate uh, RPM reading. It's set up for this uh, single cylinder motor, four stroke motor. Four stroke motor has a compression stroke and exhaust stroke. So depending on how uh, the timing is on a motor, uh, you may see um, a spark every other R, uh, revolution or every revolution. So that's what your programming is based on. To get to the menu, you cycle the power, hold the button, and that'll take you into the menus. You get to pulse which I know this says plus. A few of those got through the door, but we fixed that. Um, so this one's set at 50. So where they take the timing, it's just getting an ignition spark on the compression stroke. So every other RPM, that's actually 0.5. If you had 100, that would be once every revolution you get a spark. So some motors, such as the CB uh, four-cylinder bikes, you're running two cylinders off of one coil. So on those, you're going to see double the amount of spark, so you have to program for that. So almost every motor will be 50 or 100. There might be some oddballs outside of that. Um, if you have any um, issues programming this or any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching.